Now, if you don't want to sneeze, press the skin on the bridge of your nose with your fingers. When you do it, your brain receives an alarm signal. Very quickly, it puts the brakes on all other processes, including the sneezing reflex. By the way, the longest sneezing fit was recorded in 1981. Sorry. It lasted for 976 days. During this time, a woman from the UK sneezed more than a million times. The part of your brain that's responsible for vision is in the back of your head. Interestingly, the right side of your brain controls the vision on the left side and vice versa. If you're in some loud place, for example, in a club or at a concert, close your ears to better hear your friends. Push the tragus, the pointed skin-covered cartilage in front of the ear canal, into your ear. Then turn this ear toward your friend. If you feel anxious, press your fingers into a fist with your thumb sticking out and slowly blow on this finger. If you can't stop hiccups, put an ice cube on your tongue. Or you can close your ears with your palms and drink a glass of water through a straw in one breath. Pulling the tip of your tongue or raising your arms toward the ceiling can also be helpful. On average, when a person snores, the sound doesn't get louder than 60 decibels. That's as loud as a regular conversation. But sometimes, the noise levels can reach 80 decibels. That's as loud as a working food blender. If you want to wake up faster, hold your breath for some time. When you do it, your heart starts beating more rapidly, and your body turns on the active mode. But don't overdo it. If you wake up too abruptly, you'll put unnecessary stress on your heart. If you feel moody, hold a pencil between your teeth. The muscles involved in smiling will get down to work. This will send special impulses to your brain, and it'll start producing endorphins. In no time, your smile will become much more sincere. Right-handed people tend to chew most of their food on the right side of their mouths, and those who are left-handed use their left side more. The smell of rosemary can help you activate your super memory. Whenever you need to learn something by heart, do it while lying down in bed with a sprig of rosemary nearby. It'll help you memorize the info more effectively and faster. If your leg has fallen asleep, shake your head. In about a minute, you'll realize that your muscles have relaxed and the pins and needles sensation has passed. The muscles that help your eyes focus make around 100,000 movements a day. If you want to make your leg muscles move as much, you'll need to walk 50 miles. Deja vu might actually be something like a brain processing lag. There's a theory claiming it might happen when your brain is moving information from one part to another. If there's even the tiniest delay in that process, your brain will get the same information twice. In this case, it'll process it as an event that happened before. Out of all those people who can move their ears, only 30% can move just one ear. Your mouth burns when you're snacking on pineapple because while you're eating this fruit, it's eating you back. Pineapple is the only known food that contains bromelain. That's an enzyme that breaks down proteins. Luckily, your stomach acid knows how to deal with the offending enzyme. If you have a tickle in your throat, scratch your ear. This stimulates a nerve, which results in a muscle spasm in your throat. And in no time, the tickle is gone. Surprisingly, you burn more calories when you're sleeping than when you're watching TV. Ask your friend to sit down on a chair and put your index finger on their forehead. Then tell them to stand up without using their hands. They won't be able to do it. Just like salamanders regrow their tails, humans might be able to regenerate cartilage. That's rubber-like stuff surrounding your joints. Scientists have recently discovered that cartilage could repair itself. This process is likely to be the most effective at the ankle not that effective in the knee, and the least effective in the hip. If you're lying in bed and suddenly experience vertigo, place one of your feet on the floor. Your brain will receive the information that you're standing on something firm, and the unpleasant sensation will pass. Only 30% of people can flare their nostrils. If someone is tapping you on the back while you're hugging, they're non-verbally asking you to let go. 
People with a single palmar crease have just one line running across their palm. Such people are very rare, just 1.5% of the world's population. Most people have two palmar creases. Men are more likely to have a single palmar crease than women. In most cases, it runs in families. Your taste buds have a very short life cycle. They live for no longer than 10 to 14 days. Your lips are hundreds of times more sensitive than your fingertips. Your skin wrinkles when you stay in the water for too long, but it doesn't happen because it absorbs water. In reality, wrinkled fingers and toes provide you with a better grip. Studies have proved that sneezing is your nose's way to reset. A sneeze reboots the cells that line the insides of your nose. They're called cilia. If a person has anosmia, which is also called smell blindness, they don't distinguish and detect smells. The amount of food you consume in your lifetime will weigh as much as 8 Asian elephants. No wonder that people spend almost 4 years of their life eating. Your skin analyzes 1 million bits of data per second. Your ears and nose process 100,000 bits each. And your tongue is the least productive. It analyzes just 1,000 bits. Multitasking is kind of impossible. What we consider multitasking is actually just our brain switching between different tasks really fast. Unfortunately, in this case, people tend to make mistakes much more often. Plus, you may need twice as much time to do a task as usual. On the other hand, when you're engaged in some physical activity you've done many times before, you can perform a mental task too. That's why you can easily jog or take a shower and think about problems at work. If you see someone constantly fixing their sleeves, they likely feel very nervous, and fiddling with something is a self-soothing technique. You can check how unique you are by chewing on a sprig of cilantro. For some people, this herb may taste similar to soap because the plant contains a chemical used in soap making. But only 4-14% to of the world's population have special genes that can detect it. Are you one of them? A grown-up person uses around 200 muscles to make just one step. Your eyes never stop moving while taking in visual information. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see the whole picture. These movements go unnoticed because your brain is a great video editor. It stabilizes the images and connects tons of fragments into one smooth video. Your stomach gets a totally new lining every 3-4 to four days. That's how your body prevents the stomach from digesting itself. When a person lies, the temperature around their nose and in the inner corners of their eyes rises. This phenomenon is known as the Pinocchio effect. Hmm. The liver is the only human organ that can regenerate completely. Even if it's a mere 25% of the original liver weight, the organ can get back to its full size. Synesthesia is an unusual and rare ability. People who have it can taste music or hear colors. But only one in every 2,000 people has it. These days, our finger and toenails grow faster than they did half a century ago. It might be because people eat more proteins today. You start feeling thirsty once your water loss reaches 1% of your body weight. More than 5% and you may even faint. Water loss that exceeds 10% of the body weight, um, we'll just say that it doesn't end well. Your brain can generate more than 48 thoughts in under a minute. It's almost 3,000 thoughts per hour and more than 70,000 per day. Each person has around 150,000 hairs on their head. On average, every strand grows about a half an inch per month. If you combine the growth from each hair, it would measure the distance of 10 miles per year. If you get a leg cramp, pull your big toe toward yourself. This will stretch your muscles and reduce the spasm. People have bacteria that can produce electricity living in their intestines. These bacteria give off electrons, which creates tiny electrical currents. This might be the bacteria's way to generate energy. Maybe turn on some lights. Hey, it's dark in there. 
by the end of their life, the average person can recall up to 150 trillion pieces of information. If you brush your teeth before eating or drinking something, you might end up damaging your taste buds. That's because most kinds of toothpaste contain two chemicals, sodium lauryl ether sulfate and sodium lauryl sulfate, that decrease your ability to taste sweet things and increase your ability to taste bitter food. The DEC2 gene mutation allows people to have just a few hours of sleep a night and still feel great. They don't get tired and never sleep in. Boy, where do I get one of those? On average, these people wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. Only up to 5% of the world's population has this feature. Only humans can produce emotional tears. Other living beings cry to lubricate their eyes. Women have more taste buds on their tongues than men do. It might be one of the reasons why 35% of ladies are super tasters, people who feel flavors more strongly than others, and only 15% of guys can boast the same ability. It's hard for people to recognize someone they know if, in a photo, this person doesn't have eyebrows. This proves that eyebrows are more important for face recognition than eyes. When clasping their hands, 50% of people put their right thumb above the left one. 49% of people position their left thumb over the right. And only 1% of people place their thumbs next to each other. Your brain contains more than 86 billion nerve cells, which are joined with one another by 100 trillion connections. That's way more than the number of stars in our home Milky Way galaxy. And if you decided to count all those numerous nerve cells, it would take you up to 3,000 years. A tremendous waste of time. Your brain's memory capacity equals 4 terabytes on a hard drive. That's more than 8 million photos. You're likely to keep in memory up to 10,000 different faces. This number is different from person to person, but the average is 5,000. It doesn't mean you can put a name to each face. It's only about recognizing the features. If you walked in the same direction for 12 hours a day, you would need around 800 days to travel around the globe. The Bajau is a group of nomadic people that live in the waters surrounding the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Thanks to a rare DNA mutation, they can stay underwater for up to 13 minutes. They also dive to a depth of 200 feet. Blue cheese can affect your dreams, making them more vivid. Your ears might pop or even hurt when you were on an airplane. You can solve this problem by simply chewing some gum. This opens up the eustachian tube, a small passage that connects your throat and your middle ear. Opening this passage up helps equalize the pressure in your ears and puts an end to the popping. You can also yawn to open up the eustachian tube. Your dreams are a complex mix of your imagination, memories, and knowledge. The average person has from 4 to 7 dreams every night, but not all people remember them. Even if fingerprints get badly damaged, they grow back with their original pattern. If you have to deal with complaining customers, put a mirror behind your back. When an angry person approaches you, they'll see themselves in the mirror. This will prevent them from acting rudely. No one likes seeing themselves this way. Your feet are likely to become bigger with time. When people grow older, ligaments and tendons in their feet weaken. This makes the arches flatter, and feet become wider and longer. Only 3% of people in the world have lines that form the letters X on both their palms. In many cultures, this is believed to be a sign of a strong personality. The human brain is 73% water, just like your heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of liquid, you start feeling exhausted. This also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. In most people, their height is the same as their arm span. Check it out! A particular gene mutation results in super-dense bones that are almost impossible to break. They're several times tougher than the average person's bones. People with this mutation also have skin that is less prone to aging. 
You might have noticed little dots traveling in squiggly lines when you're looking at a bright light or blue sky. They're usually only visible for a second or two. Sometimes they look like tiny worms. Well, those are your white blood cells moving through the capillaries in front of the retina, the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eyes. Most people don't even notice the dots unless you ask them to pay attention. If someone is listening to you with their eyebrows raised, they're likely genuinely interested in your story. If you decided to uncoil the human DNA, the whole thing would stretch for 10 billion miles. That's 40,000 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. Human teeth are almost as strong as those of a shark. The enamel of your teeth, that's the outer layer, is the hardest substance in your entire body. Your nostrils don't work with the same efficiency all the time. When you breathe, one nostril does most of the work. They switch every couple of hours. Your right ear is more responsive to speech, and your left ear is better at perceiving music. Researchers think that's because it's your left hemisphere that processes speech, while the right one deals with music and other creative functions. Your lips look red because of a great number of tiny blood capillaries right below the skin. While enjoying your favorite cold food or beverage, you might suddenly get a painful brain freeze. This happens because the nerves at the roof of your mouth get frozen. They send signals to your brain asking it to please stop eating such cold stuff. But you can overcome this unpleasant sensation by pressing your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Do it as hard as you can. The pain will soon disappear. Your lips don't sweat because there are no sweat glands there. They also have no glands producing a special protective film that keeps your skin hydrated. That's why your lips are so vulnerable to the sun, wind, and cold. They also dry out faster than other body parts. You wouldn't be able to taste food if your body didn't produce saliva. Your taste buds have special receptors that recognize different flavors. But without some liquid, flavors won't bind to the molecules of these receptors. There are only a few cells in your body that will stay with you throughout your entire life. Those are the cells in the inner lens of your eye, the muscle cells of your heart, and the neurons of your cerebral cortex. That's a fancy word for the outer layers of your brain. Millennials are people who are now between 25 and 40 years old, and they tend to be more forgetful than older people. The main reason for this phenomenon is higher levels of stress these folks have. People with albinism have little to no melanin. That's the pigment that gives color to your hair, skin, and eyes. It's a rare condition. In the U.S., only 1 in 18,000 to 20,000 people is born with albinism. But there's also ocular albinism, and it's even rarer. Experts think only 1 in 50,000 people has ocular albinism. During just one day, the blood in your body travels over 12,000 miles. That's half as long as the distance around Earth. Almost 25% of your body's cholesterol is in your brain. This substance is crucial for your memory and learning abilities. But the blood-brain barrier doesn't allow your brain cells to get cholesterol from the blood. That's why your brain produces its own kind of cholesterol. Paradoxically, even though your teeth are a part of the skeletal system, they don't count as bones. It might be because they, sadly, can't regenerate. But if a bone is broken, it heals on its own by producing new bone cells. Your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and it'll be enough time for your brain to process the image. For comparison, the average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Bright sunlight makes 17 to 35% of people sneeze. This phenomenon is called the photic sneeze reflex. Your fingers are extremely sensitive. They can feel objects that are no bigger than the width of your hair. If your finger was the size of Earth, you'd still feel the difference between cars and houses. If there is a calorie chart in a restaurant, people tend to order less healthy and more high-calorie food. They compare the difference between, let's say, a burger and a large serving of Caesar salad and notice that it isn't that big. And since the burger seems to be more filling, that's what they order. 
But when people don't know that a big portion of salad contains almost as many calories as the burger, they pick a healthier option. Now, what do you call a person who can write with either hand equally well? How can you reach with your tongue into your nose from inside? And why would you even want to do that? See further if you have a real superpower. About a third of all people can raise one eyebrow, left or right. It's a great way to send a playful signal to someone while telling a joke. But the ability to raise both eyebrows separately is much rarer. If you're not among them, that's because you cannot yet control and move the corresponding muscles. But this skill can be developed. Stand in front of a mirror, hold one eyebrow with your hand, and lift the other one up and down. And then do the same with the other eyebrow. This will help you learn moving them separately. Can you sit down on the floor and get back without the help of your hands or knees? This simple challenge is called the sitting rising test. Clever name. Although scientists argue whether this test is trustworthy in telling anything about your health, you can still use it to check whether your muscles and heart are strong enough. If you're unable to get off the floor without the support of your hands or knees, maybe it's time to return to the gym. Now stretch out your hand and place a ring on the crook of your elbow, then rotate your palm. If the ring didn't fall, you're a rare person. Some say only 2% of people can do that, but that's arguable. If you can lick your elbow easily or touch your thumb to your forearm, congratulations! You're among the minority of people. But some people bring flexibility to the next level. This condition is called hypermobility. It allows rare individuals to twist their bodies into weird positions, just like a snake. Putting their head between their feet, doing a back bridge, and all sorts of splits. But in some cases, hypermobility can increase sensitivity. Because such people have a larger medulla, this brain area is responsible for processing emotions. Now, 90% of people are right-handed, and only 10% are left-handed. Yes, that adds up. But there's also a very small percentage of those who can use both hands equally well, including writing, drawing, and doing any tasks. Naturally ambidextrous people account for only 1% of the entire population, which is about 70 million people. If you want to check whether you're one of them, try to write the same phrase with both hands, or draw a circle first with your right and then with your left hand. If there's no difference, congrats! By the way, these exercises are very good for balancing the hemispheres of the brain, regardless of which hand is your working one. Mirror writing is another good way to awaken your neurons. Wake up, wake up! Leonardo da Vinci used to write down his thoughts in a journal from right to left. The actual purpose of his mirror writings is still unknown, but some people suggest that he just tried to prevent smudging the ink because he was left-handed. Creating a mirrored text is not an easy task for most people. Now, most people depend on weather forecasts and have to adjust their outfits depending on the season to avoid catching a cold. But not everyone! Lucky ones have learned to keep their bodies warm in any frost. These fearless heroes can walk in the cold wearing only swimming trunks and feel cozy. They can stand in the snow barefoot and even swim in a river or an ice hole. Usually, this talent doesn't come naturally. People temper their bodies for years until they get used to withstand extreme cold. Of course, they don't do it just to look cool or feel cool. Health benefits from this procedure include better blood circulation, increased concentration, and an overall sense of well-being. And how many seconds can you stand barefoot in the snow? Not many! Okay, stretch out your palms in front of you. Squeeze together all of your fingers except your thumb. Now spread the index and middle fingers and a ring finger with the little finger in different directions. Success? If so, you'd probably make a wonderful musician because the nerves in your palms are well-developed. Do you feel ticklish when you tickle yourself? Now, normally you wouldn't unless someone else tickles you. It happens because the cerebellum area of the brain, which monitors movements, predicts the sensations caused by your own movements. Then it sends a signal to other parts of the nervous system to cancel these sensations. But some rare individuals can actually feel ticklish on their own. If you're not among them, touching a new texture that the brain doesn't yet recognize or using a scalp massager can help to excite your nerves and bring relaxation. Okay, grab a sheet of paper and something to write with and sit on a chair. Stretch one leg and rotate your foot clockwise. Try to draw the number 6 on the paper or in the ear while still rotating your foot. 
This task is so much struggle because the left area of your brain can't handle two opposite rotations at the same time. That's why the brain tries to bring all movements in the same direction. Only a few people can manage it from the first attempt. You can also try to write other numbers and watch the funny results. Seems like the foot has no problem only with zero. If you want to check out the work of your vestibular system, try this simple trick. Stand on one foot and close your eyes. Most people lose balance at least during the first attempt. Your vestibular system includes many organs and systems throughout the body. Together, they allow your body to stay in balance in different positions. This system includes the inner ear and vision, which is why keeping balance is much easier in silence while your eyes are open. Every day, people use their tongue to recognize different tastes and communicate with each other. But it's also a great tool for a bunch of tricks. Around 10% of people can touch the tip of their nose with their tongue. The current title of the world's longest tongue belongs to Nick Stobel from the USA. His tongue measures 3.97 inches, according to Guinness World Records. There's also another contender whose name is in the Indian Book of Records for the tongue measuring a whopping 10.8 inches. Wow! Imagine what he can do to an ice cream cone. But the average adult male tongue is only about 3.3 inches long, and the average female tongue is 3.1 inches. That's why most people can't perform the nose trick that easily. Okay, tying a cherry stem in a knot is a popular party challenge, but only a few people can do it right and quickly. Al Glinaetsky set the world Guinness record in June 2014 when he made 14 cherry stem knots in one minute using only his tongue. Wow! If you want to try to beat his record, practice with patience and pick longer stems around an inch and a half long. Plenty of tutorials on this topic at your service. Stand in front of a mirror, open your mouth, and try to roll the sides of your tongue up towards each other to make a U shape. About 65-81% to 81% of people are natural tongue rollers, and the majority are women. Some believe it's a genetic capability, but recent studies show that people can actually develop this skill by practicing. Kitri mudra is a term from yoga that means curling the tip of your tongue back into the mouth. Ideally, it should reach above the soft palate and rest in the beginning of the nasal cavity. This asana helps refresh the mind and body and overcome thirst, hunger, and anxiety. Some say it also helps to become a professional lucid dreamer if you acquire a habit to fall asleep with Kitri Mudra every night. But most yoga beginners spend months and even years to reach into the nasal cavity. And if you can do it right away, you're the lucky one. Can you wiggle your ears intentionally? Congratulations! Around 22% of people on the Earth are capable of wiggling one ear. As for moving both ears at once, only 18% can do that. Ear wiggling used to be a common thing for our distant ancestors. Scientists believe they could perform a variety of movements with their ears. The group of muscles responsible for wiggling is called the auriculars, and we mostly don't need it today. But some people claim that everyone can learn to move their ears. It only takes time and practice. Unfortunately, we still cannot acquire this classy habit of twitching an ear toward a sound source as dogs and cats do. If you have a shifted belly button, you were born to be a great swimmer or runner. The navel is your very own center of gravity. Where it's located higher than average, you have a longer waist and a lifted center of gravity. That makes you a faster runner. If your belly button is shifted down instead, you have more power in your torso. A longer torso also helps you make a bigger wave. That makes you a faster swimmer and a naval hero. Yeah. Gray is one of the rarest eye colors on the planet. If you're one of that gray-eyed 1%, your eyes have almost no melanin in the front layer of your iris. Depending on what color you're wearing, your eyes can actually change color from gray to blue to green. Your pupils can also get larger when you're getting emotional. Studies show that gray-eyed people are more competitive. If you have brown eyes, you're in solid company. Way back in the day, everyone on the planet had brown eyes. Some scientists think that back then, most humans lived in warm climates, and brown eyes gave them more protection against the sun. Brown-eyed people are great at activities that need quick reaction times, like boxing or soccer or whack-a-mole. Blue-eyed people are good learners and strategic thinkers. They're also good at sports like golf and cross-country running. 
The easiest way to find out if you're a mutant is to push your pinky and thumb together. If a long, thin muscle pops out on the inside of your wrist, you're totally normal. If it doesn't, you have a mutation. So what's your new mutant power? Literally nothing. You and 15% of the population are missing a muscle that helped our ancestors swing from branch to branch. Since that's a pretty useful skill these days, that muscle's just disappeared from over 117 million people's arms. It's a good reminder that evolution is still going on and that it's a pretty slow process. Now, if you have a double layer of eyelashes, you inherited this mutation from one of your parents. It means your 16th chromosome got mixed up a bit. You might have a full second set of eyelashes or just a few extras. Before you start getting jealous, remember it can cause extra tearing and even impair your vision. 90% of people have clockwise hair whorls. If yours goes in the opposite direction, you're probably also left-handed. Scientists think that the same genetic mutation is responsible for handedness and hair whorl direction. Some people have double whorls, which is even rarer. The superpower of twisting your tongue is rare, but not passed down genetically you're more likely to be able to fold, roll, and turn your tongue if you speak certain languages or multiple languages. The cloverleaf tongue is the most complicated. Get to a mirror and find out if you can pull it off. People who have clearly asymmetrical faces, like one ear higher than the other, for example, are natural and effective leaders. They show initiative and take responsibility, motivate others, and put the interests of the group above their own. Photo time! If you think your right side is your good side, you're most likely an engineer, mathematician, chemist, or other sciencey type. If your left side is the one you go with, you're more of the artsy type. Only 2% of us have naturally red hair. If you're born red-haired, it means both your parents are carrying the gene, even if they don't have red hair themselves. These genes give redheads a lower pain threshold. That's why they need more anesthetic than people with blonde, brown, or black hair. If you have a large nose, you're less likely to have allergies and colds. A larger nose lets in fewer pollutants and pollens and protects your mouth from germs. Ancient Greeks and Romans thought large noses were a symbol of power and strength. If you have a small nose, you're more likely to work smart instead of hard. You like to get things done, and you're not into spending ages on one tiny problem. If your nose is scooped with a turned-up tip, you're a generous and sentimental person. Your family and friends mean the world to you. You inherited your sneezing style from one of your parents. If you sneeze just once at a time and turn your head straight away, you're caring and supportive. If you sneeze loudly and proudly, you're a natural leader. You get things done. If you carry tissues and cover your mouth when sneezing, you are a careful and deep-thinking individual. Sneezers who are always trying to break their record of seven times in a row are charismatic and social. They like to inspire others. You're more likely to have a college degree if you're born with a larger forehead. No word yet on if that means you're smarter, though. Scientists analyzed the connection between head size, genes, and IQ. So far, it looks like it's true. If your face is wide rather than long, you have great negotiating skills. That skill helps people with wider faces make more money than their narrow-faced pals. Those with a round face appear innocent and trustworthy. If that's you, you're most likely selfless and put the needs of others before your own. And you're likely to snore more. If your face is a pretty oval shape, you're most definitely an extrovert and a highly likable person. You always know what to say to make others feel relaxed. A triangular face with a narrow forehead and a wide jaw is one of the rarest. It makes you look powerful. You're driven, determined, and destined to rule. At the same time, you're creative, artistic, and you freak out pretty easily. If sweet things taste sweeter to you and salty taste saltier, you're probably one of the 25% of the population that are super tasters. This superpower is given to you by extra tiny dots on your tongue, known as taste buds. Super tasters don't normally eat foods like broccoli, cabbage, spinach, grapefruit, and coffee. They taste too bitter. Regular spicy food is way too spicy for their taste buds. 
Still, it's probably better than being a non-taster. That's when foods just seem tasteless and don't give you any pleasure. If you have long eyebrows, you're a great friend and listener. You really care about others and enjoy helping them. You aren't afraid of responsibility and handle big tasks with ease. You're also pretty competitive. People who have thin eyebrows often doubt themselves and are more careful about every step they take. They care about other people's opinion, even if they know they're right. If your eyebrows are thick, you're most definitely confident and quick-witted. You don't like to park your brain on one task and get angry when someone tries to hold you back. You're active and forward-thinking. Folks with high and super curved eyebrows aren't that easy to approach. They like to keep their distance. In reality, they just need more time to get comfortable with you. They strive for perfection and have great taste. If your eyebrows are somewhat low and close to your eye, you're easygoing and mix with people well. You're always true to your word. You also like to help others achieve their goals. Now, if your second toe's shorter than your big toe, you have what's called Morton's toe, just like the Statue of Liberty herself. In some places, it's pretty common. In others, it's kind of rare. Morton's toe can affect your posture and how you walk. Try to wear shoes with a high and wide toed box to stop that toe from getting crammed and crushed. Add some swimming and biking into your routine. It'll help even out the tension on your foot. Those with high arched feet are independent and self-sufficient. If your arches are lower, you're most likely outgoing and need the company of others to feel comfortable. If you have similar length toes and overall wide feet, you've got a sweet case of Roman foot. You were born to travel the world and explore new cultures. You're outgoing and make friends easily. If your feet are elongated and your big toe tapers off, you're probably one of those deep thinkers. Your mood changes a lot, and you can probably take surprising and spontaneous decisions.